Hello guys, welcome back to another video here on the Dave Budget FM channel. It's time for a new save video and we've come back from Juventus, we've we've gone back, we've we've huddled ourselves down, we've braved the storm of media fury about our failure to win the Serie A with Juventus and we are going back into Europe, we're going to Spain, more specifically we're going to Barcelona and we're trying to rebuild the mess that Barcelona is in. However, not just as simple as heading there, braving a couple of seasons and, and making uh, making good when the money comes in. I have a stipulation for myself. This is a director of football challenge. I am letting go of all transfer control. Director of football, all players in. All negotiations, initiating sales, negotiating sales, um, finalising sales, and the same for bringing people in for all three teams. I'm having nothing to do with it. I will pick the team, I will set the tactics, and I will manage the match day squad and the training of individual. That's it. Nothing to do with player contract renewals or anything like that. I've got nothing to do with any of that. It's all on the director of football. This could be interesting. So let's just jump straight in and see how we are when we start. Like we said here, Gudja takes control of the Barcelona hot seat. We are on a three year deal worth £75,000 a week. Sounds about right for me. Um, we have got quite a little bit of issues though at the club, as we all know, namely financials. We are overall balance of 23,391,451 in debt. That is, so far this month, it's the 12th of July, we have lost £157,000. Not the best. Our debt itself. Net debt is £964,246,484. Near as damn it, a billion pounds in debt. Transfer debt of minus nine million. Uh, we bank repayments every month. We must repay five point five million pounds in debt in in loan repayments. That's a big amount every single month coming off. So yeah, it's it's, it's going to be interesting. With regards to the transfer and the transfer budget, we have got nothing. We've got zero to spend, obviously, because we're nearly a billion pounds in debt. And we have got spare surplus wage budget of £49,000 a week. Now, when you look at the squad and look at the wage for them, Coutinho is on £375,000 a week. Anton Griezmann, three hundred and fifty. pounds He's got an 80% wage increase um, after one year though. So next year his wage will go up somewhere into the region of £450,000 a week. £2 million a month. Ridiculous. Um, Umtiti, £275,000. Busquets, Alba... Just under 200,000, De Jong, Sergio Roberto, Depay, Aguero, all under 160 or there, thereabouts. Um, Testegen, 140. And then when you move around into sort of like the youngsters of Ansu Fati, uh, Lenglet, Dest, uh, they were not anywhere near that amount. The problem is all up top here Coutinho, Griezmann, Umtiti, Busquets, and Alba. They're on a huge, huge amount of money uh, for us. And that's just this squad. Some are sitting in the under-19s and below. Um, the Usman Dembele, who was injured for quite a long time, he's sitting in the under-19s at the minute while he recuperates. He's on £275,000 a week. Uh, Pjanic... He's on 105 grand a week. He's out on loan though, so we, we've got a lot of a lot of issues here with regards to wages, wage budget, and and, and what we can actually do um, with the squad. 
I say we, it's not me, it's my staff. Like I said, responsibilities for transfers and contracts, negotiating player signings for Barcelona, initiating player signings for Barcelona and finalising player signings for Barcelona are all under the control of Mathieu Almani, our director of football, 57-year-old Spaniard. He is... Um, his analysing data is no good, but he'll have staff for that. His negotiation is 19. Potential Judging player potential and ability is 20 apiece. People management of 20. Motivating, he, he's, he's for what I'm going to need him to do, which is look at good players, bring them in uh, and get a good deal for them. He's going to be the man. He's absolutely spot on from what I can see. Um, he's... Yeah, he's going to be important for me. He's also doing the same for um, incoming offers for first team players um, and also outgoing loans for the youngsters and then signing and selling incoming players for the under 19s and outgoing players for the under 19s. Everything, everything is on him. The future of Barcelona literally rests in his hands and exactly the same for contracts. Any contracts up for renewal? It's on him. If he can't do it, if they say no to him, he goes out of contract. They go out of contract. It's all on him. What we have got is we are in charge of the tactics and the match day squad. So looking at the match day squad, we are working with a 4-1-1-3-1. It's our jigsaw tra tactic that I used in I used in Juventus. Not so much successful there. Also used on my English Trophy Hunter Port Vale save, uh, Port Vale currently, uh, where it has worked fantastically well in the lower leagues of English football, uh, a record amount of points in the first season there in League Two. So the tactic works. It didn't work in Juve, admittedly, but we're in again here. It will be a, a flat back four with attacking wing backs and or full backs, a ball winning midfielder, a central midfielder, inverted wingers, Shadow striker and advanced forward. By and large, those roles may change depending on which member of uh, staff we've got coming in. But that'll be it. Testegen, Albert and Dest, Pique and uh, Ronald Arujo, uh, Sergio Biscuits in the uh, ball winning midfielder, Frankie de Jong is the, uh, is the centre midfielder. Starting off will be Depay and when he's fit will be Dembele. At the moment he's not, so we've got Bolde in the moment and we will also have Martin Braithwaite coming in there. Through the middle at the moment, I say it's Pedri, we've got Ansu Fati who can play in there, we've also got uh, Ricky Puig who can do that role. We've got plenty of youngsters coming through that I'm not particularly bothered about. If, if the director of football can bring me someone in, brilliant, fantastic, great. If not, I'll deal with what I've got. I've got plenty of youngsters who hopefully will stay at the club and move onwards. Up front is either going to be Luke de Jong, um, Sergio Aguero when he's fit. He is currently out for three to four months because it's Sergio Aguero. Of course he's injured. Um, or uh, young Peke who's uh, coming from the young, from the uh, youth and, and B team as well. We've got a lot of young once you scratch the surface. The first 11 is great. It's fantastic. Once everyone's fit, the first 11 is fantastic. Once you scratch the surface, we are looking at youth team players and formerly Barcelona B players. So hopefully not too many injuries or suspensions there. So what we're going to do, we will come back. We're going to play the pre-season. We're going to get these friendlies out of the way and we'll come back and see how we're doing and get the season started. Okay guys, so here we are now. We have done with pre-season. It's, it's been a little bit of a mixed bag, to be brutally honest. Um, I'm not putting any kind of um, sway on these fixtures for the pre-season. We lost against the second 11. Um, we beat Shakhtar in Busquets' testimonial. Uh, drew with Alacon, lost to Galatasaray, but beat Hertha Berlin and Leganes. When you look through the actual foot, people that I had available for me pre-season, everyone's on holiday because the Euros have just been. The formation that I put out, PK, just second PK, fine. Um, 
Frankie de Jong, I had to change my complete formation to my inverted Christmas tree formation because I had no fullbacks. I had zero fullbacks available. So I, it, it's, I, I changed it to a, to a fullback less formation, um, which didn't work. But then again, I've not got the first team players that I want to have in and around there. Early, early doors um, when we, we drew with Alcaron. Yes, I had full backs then, but 50% of my starting defence I had available. Um, my, mid, my, my attacking midfield side, not available there on holiday still. My, the striker that I want to play is on holiday still. So I'm putting absolutely no sway in the, in the pre-season form, um, friendly results. What happens and what matters is what goes on from now. Season starting, season starting tomorrow, it's Atletico Madrid away from home to start the season. A big game, one of the massive ones in there. Um, one of probably four games that we absolutely cannot afford to lose if we want to challenge for the title. It's um, Transfer-wise, we've survived. Um, going out, no one. Director of football has been pretty quiet, but all the players have been on holiday, so... I don't know if that makes a difference or not. With regards to the finances, we are still 948 million in debt. We have a transfer debt of, of 8.26 million and we are still paying back five and three quarter million every month in bank loans. I, I don't know, I can't say, I don't know, I don't know a way out. Um, wages wise, wages commitments next year, um, Anton Griezmann goes from we're not paying his wages at all at the moment because he's on loan at Atletico Madrid. His wages currently are three hundred and fifty thousand. Next year he's got a clause. It goes up to four hundred and twenty-five thousand. He's got an eighty percent increase clause in his contract. <sighs> Mind boggles. Um, we need to get these wages off the bill. Um, kind of permanently. I'm hoping to 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 move Griezmann on. Or at least Coutinho, Umtiti, uh, and, and one of the other big ones. My main problem is transfer values are zero because we need to move them on. But we're not at the moment. We're not getting any money in for these. But we'll see where we go. Um, we're, we're, we're due to pass financial fair play. No idea how the board the board is projecting to make a profit of three hundred sixteen million over the period. If we're making that much money a year, how are we nearly a billion in debt? Um, I don't understand it. Um, so it, it, this is one of these ones that, that's quite bizarre with us, with, with, with the money-wise. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it all. We were at one point, the bank balance was minus 200 million. We're now positive 5.2 million. We've made a 5.5 million pound profit. That's all transfer, um, all season tickets. There, that is. But we'll move on. Everyone is pretty much back now. There are, there is. Um, Pedri is still on holiday. Aguero is still injured. Ansu Fati is still out for around about three weeks. So my first choice is not quite there. Uh, but by and large. The team is taking shape now. It will be Testegen, Alba on the left, Dest on the right, PK and Arujo through the middle. Those pair, oh sorry, uh, Arujo and um, Sergi Roberto have signed new contracts with the director of football, so that is working at least. The new the people that we want to have contracts are getting them. Uh, Sergio Busquets will be the ball winning midfielder uh, on defend. Frankie de Jong will be the central midfielder on support. Depay is starting out on the left there uh, on an inverted winger. At the moment, Ricky Puig will be the advanced playmaker. That will change when we get people back fit again. Um, he's got all the stats that he needs to be doing. I'm just not 100% convinced by him yet. Maybe I'll change my mind once we're playing games. Uh, to start off the season, we've got Collado on the right again. That will change when the likes of Ansu Fati um, can fit again and, and, and one or two others. 
And then up top, starting up top, off the bat is Luke de Jong. Again, a reasonable striker. Um, a little on the old side, his pace isn't there, but everything else he's got is absolutely fantastic. So that's the starting lineup. That will be the starting lineup, I think, for the. Um, yeah, that's the starting lineup for the Barcelona game. The only thing that's really going to change when he comes back up holiday is Pedri will fit in instead of Puig there. Uh, after that, we're kind of looking a little while for uh, people to come back from uh, long term injuries. So what we're going to do now is we're going to jump forward and we are going to play the, the next month and jump back into action after we've had the first transfer deadline day and see what kind of action our director of football has brought in for us. See you shortly. OK, so transfer deadline day is in the bag. We've played the first month of fixtures, so let's have a look and see how we have been getting on and what business we managed to complete in the transfer window. As we can see here, the month has gone. We have finished it undefeated. Fantastic. However, we have played 3-1-0. Drawn three. Uh, the Atletico Madrid game is away to Atletico. A draw is probably a good result. We did have them um, on the ropes by and large. Here. We had the most possession. We had the most chances. The most chances on target. With regards to the goals... We did take the lead, it was on the 19th minute and Arujo on from the penalty, uh, sorry, from the corner. But then just for half time, Felipe got the equaliser again from another corner. I'm not too disappointed with this one. Suarez had one short off for offside, but he was quite a way offside. Not too disappointed. I'm disappointed with a couple of these that have had to come in due to injuries still. Ricky Puig, 6.2, Calado, 6.2. Um, so maybe it might be a, a step up too far for these two guys might need maybe keep an eye on that after Atletico we were at home to Celta Vigo and this is one where it just didn't happen for us um, 11 shots 5 on target but they had the most possession again uh, one, one ruled off for offside it was a tight offside but it was offside it's this is a disappointment at home and not even score a single goal, let alone not winning. It, it it's mm, yeah that one this this one was disappointing, but <laughs> respect the point. And then tail end to finish off on the twenty eighth of the month we were away to Villarreal and this is one that was a collapse, an injury time collapse. There's no other way about it. So we t managed to take the league take the lead uh, just for a half hour Jordi Alba feeding Memphis and a fantastic shot in on his right foot bending it round the keeper and then five minutes after half time Jordi Alba bursting into the area pulling it back and Frankie de Jong gets his second in the of the season but 90th minute Villarreal woke up and come back fired it across low one fired in and Paco Alcazar gets the one and then in the 95th minute Pandemonium in the box and, and Mandy pokes in the, the equaliser. I'd like to say we were robbed, but we really weren't. Um, they had more shots, they had more shots on target. They, they, we had more possession, but that, that's about it. Again, too many people have poor games. PK 6.4. Um, Braithwaite came in um, to cover from Colado, who had a bad game. 6.5, Pedri, his first game back from fitness, so maybe he wasn't at the uh, at the races, 6.4, and Luke John, 6.5, just not good enough. Uh, threw away a two-goal lead, last two goals in injury time, just just not, not good enough at all. Which brings us into transfer deadline day. It was, as you can imagine, it was quiet. We've got no money to spend, um, so there's nothing that we could do. No one came in. Um, we, these are just staff that have come in here. Heading out, though, we have in the transfer window just the two movements. Martin Braithwaite went out on loan to uh, Valencia. So he's gone. And also Ricky Puig are quite up disappointed and, and upset about this one going. Um, 
he's going out on loan to Getafe. Uh, I, I was hoping we'd have him around as some kind of uh, squad player for us, but he's gone. Director of football deemed him surplus to reply um, requirements, so that's where that is. That and that's that's all it was. None. Oh no, one came in. One came in. Federico Bernadeschi. I think that was the the uh, director of football's replacement for Braithwaite. Um, younger, faster, better at crossing. Uh, from what I remember, the guy is a little bit um, injury prone, but we'll see. We'll see how he goes, but he this could be uh, this could be a good sign on the right hand side there. A definite improvement on Braithwaite who left the club. So that's where we are. That's where we finished the first month with regards to finances. Uh, we've knocked five mo um, yeah five million off the debt. Nine hundred forty one million pounds in debt. Um, with regards to the summary, we are. We have an overall profit so far this season of nine million. Uh, we are on the first of September, so that's uh, that's why that's just a profit uh, a profit loss of zero. But we're heading in the right direction. Uh, we've not managed to shift any big name or big um, wages off the bill, but hopefully. Um, if these guys are in and around, they'll be able to push and, and get us up the league and uh, start turning these draws to wins. And that is pretty much where we're going to leave this video for this story. We've started the season, transfer window's done, um, and we are ready to push on, hopefully, to say, turn these disappointing draws into wins. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Drop me any comments you've got in the chat there. I do read and respond to all the comments. We have got another save on this channel. It's a English trophy hunter save where we are currently in season two and trying to win every domestic trophy in the English game. So Premier League, Championship, League One, League Two, FA Cup, Cowboy Cup and Papa John's Trophy. Uh, we are one season down and we are one trophy in the cabinet. Just about over. Over there, there it is. Uh, that's the League Two trophy. That's in the cabinet. That's nailed down. That's on the alternate weeks to this one. We've got a director of football at Barcelona here. The or next video will be the um, the English Trophy Hunter one. We are also live on Twitch, at Dave Bridget FM on Twitch, where we currently have a South American journeyman save. We are in season six, coming towards the end of season six, and uh, we're on our second club and looking like we're getting our second second division trophy. Second, second division. Yes, that's right. Yes. Um, it's, it's coming well. So come along on there, drop a follow, drop your name in the chat, and uh, we'll, we'll talk about life, the universe, and why Arsenal are a terrible, terrible football club. Um, like I said, guys, thanks for watching. I shall see you on the next video. Thanks.